the Oscar a couple of years ago, a nomination for 45 years, the Volpe Cup you won for Hannah. Mm. It's a couple of prizes, but do, do you think you've been overlooked? They come too late. <laughs> what, a, what a sad question. Is it a sad question? Oh, I've been overlooked. Si je pouvais partir plus tôt que prévu, je me sens pas très bien. Je lui pardonnerai jamais. Et tu devrais jamais lui pardonner non plus. Ainsi, c'est fini. Je dois être seul pour voir clair en moi. De eigenzinnige actrice Charlotte Rampling is in Rotterdam met het psychologische drama Hannah. Over een vrouw die ontdekt dat haar man haar jarenlang heeft voorgelogen. Was dit een moeilijke rol om te zeggen ja te zeggen? Ik vind het moeilijk. Dus ik vind het moeilijk om dingen te zijn psychologisch fertile you know that the, there is that there's a real search a research into a character and what fascinated me about this was how it was going to be done which is very specific it's a very very still strange intensely um, interior film just you're, you're in the head of this woman as she's going through a very traumatic moment and you're just following her and you could think can this make a film when I read it I thought it could can this make a film well I think we have made a film whether be Everybody likes it is, is another matter, but we've made something that is really about uh, what the human being is, which is a feeling, a human being, and we're going to, into that feeling world. And you talked about fertility or, or being fertile. Mm -hmm. How was it fertile? Do you think? So, well, the idea has to be fertile. The idea has to be something that actually, for me, um, uh, makes it absolutely understandable that I'm going to want to be with this person for a very long time it might it's not going to be that long a time but for me it is because you because you there is a merging with a character when you meet when you when you meet them when you when you know that you're going to be interpreting them which which goes inside you because it's it's inside you that it happens there's nowhere else i mean acting is inside the actor and they think oh gosh it's wonderful acting but it's actually the the human being that is representing something which is about feelings And did you know her in a way, Hannah? I know what she's feeling. I mean, not because of the specific reason, but feeling is feeling. Everyone knows what feeling is. True. You know what it's like to be hurt, to be betrayed, to be to be abandoned, to be or to be happy or to be anxious, embarrassed. All those feelings are what we channel as an actor. So we know we know how to do this because we felt them all. We just call call them up. Hannah, she has to grapple with regret. Is that an emotion you allow, looking at the roles you've played? And you see regret. I don't see it as regret. I, I guess I don't actually acknowledge regret. I don't know what that means. I don't want to know what it means. It's experience. Whatever happens, and what happens, even horrible things to you, I wouldn't regret them. I'd say, well, that, that happened. 
and I lived through it. So I've obviously got something from it, otherwise I'd be dead. You know. So regret is not, on, not, not something that makes sense to me. So but that's not in Hannah as well? So it's not in Hannah, no. Because I'll play her with all my instinctual um, um, uh, makeup as a human being. What, what I am, what Charlotte is made up of, will be translated into Anna, and it will be undeniably still Charlotte, because I can't not be Charlotte. Je ne sais pas si tu reçois mes messages. Ça fait une éternité. Je suis encore ta mère. T'es pas la bienvenue ici. Allez, s'il te plaît, maintenant tu nous laisses tranquille. A couple of years ago, I talked to Jeff Bridges and I asked him if he would ever retire or if he ever thought about retiring. And he said, every day, mm. but still, he's, he's still working. Do you ever think about retiring? A lot of actors say that. I mean, I wouldn't say about every day, but I think not about retiring, but I sometimes think, is it, it no. Maybe I did at one stage, but I certainly don't do now because I want to have something to I want to have something to do in life. I don't just want to be sitting with no life, just my life. And maybe I'll be getting iller and older and just sitting there and thinking, I've copped out. There's some kind of pact I've made with, with, with my life and, I, and retiring is not in it. <laughs> and what has it given you, do you think, acting? Well, it's given me something to do. <laughs> At the very least. But it's like the, all the roles you've, you've chosen, it's, it's also like you're... you're, you're trying to investigate who you are. Could be. So it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful adventure. You know, it really is. It is an extraordinary, it's an extraordinary adventure to go through life making films actually. In the way that I do, because I mean, I really care about just sort of certain films and don't do very many films. And although I've done a lot of films, I haven't done sort of, I haven't been, I haven't wanted to be too much making it into a career and, 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 uh, and uh, I didn't necessarily want to be very famous and as for the Oscar, I didn't want to get the, I didn't matter, it didn't matter that. I wanted, I was on another journey. Do you know what journey then? What journey were you on? Well, my, I suppose my journey is into sort of just going inwards rather than outwards. I've, I've just got to find out things about who we are and what, you know, what's happening inside and and what actually makes us tick. And I'm fascinated by psychology, I'm fascinated by the human mind and the human soul and the human condition, all that sort of stuff, all that, all that humanity. I never stop learning, I'm never stopping being curious about meeting people, about coming to Rotterdam, meeting all sorts of people, seeing other films, other people, getting out, getting out of my own home, getting out of my own, you know, my own world necessarily, and just, and just challenging myself, challenging myself out there.